Coast Drower, how are we doing? I'm doing pretty good. I'm excited to be on here once again and doing something with you. And uh, I've had a pretty good day so far. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much about it for me. Yeah, absolutely, mate. Uh, first of all, then, Shrek 4D closing at Universal Studios Orlando in January 2022. January the 10th, 2022. What is your thoughts on that? So, I've never ridden the version in Florida. I have done the one in Hollywood, and I do know that that was replaced by a DreamWorks Theater um, attraction now playing a Kung Fu Panda movie. So, I could expect maybe something like, maybe even like exactly that would be coming. But I just looked at the map as well. I believe that Shrek 40 is actually right across from the Despicable Me ride. Um, so, potentially... Um, and I've heard rumors that, and I don't know how legit they are, maybe we could be seeing a Secret Life of Pets dark ride, maybe in, inside of that building. Would kind of make sense because it'd be two Illumination properties right next to each other with that and Despicable Me. So um, if I had to guess, I honestly am probably more leaning towards the DreamWorks, uh, the DreamWorks Theater sort of um, idea, but I could also see maybe Secret Life of Pets or maybe even something Sing related going in that area. It, it'll be interesting to see for sure what happens. Yeah, 100%. And it should be interesting to see uh, what will come into that area of the park. Staying with Universal Studios Orlando then, Revenge of the Mummy getting a lengthy refurbishment from January up until the summer. Rumours, uh, not concrete or could be concrete, we don't know at this stage, uh, of a retrack, uh, a, a, paint, a repaint of the track and also new animatronics. I mean, if this was the refurbishment, would you be a fan of this or would you want more from this? I, once again, I have only written the Hollywood version, so I've never written the Florida version, but probably good. Um, I've heard that the Florida version is a little lacking when it comes to the theming side of things, so probably a refurbishment, maybe getting some new animatronics, uh, updating some projections and things of that sort would be uh, probably a good thing for it. A repaint of the track, I mean, I don't really see what all that would do. You're in the dark, so I don't really see why you would do that. What I could see happening, though, is, um, and I've heard from some people who've written it, that there are certain, like, kind of abrupt jolts in the layout. Perhaps we could see some more track refurbishment uh, type of work going on there. Um, but that is all speculation. But I think, basically, update the theming and maybe some track work would be what would be done. And depending on how it's executed, I think it could be a change for the better. Yeah, 100%. Um, finally then, the Axis Coaster coming in 2023 to Europe. I think, I think this is a story that definitely uh, hit hard and hit a ma created a massive bombshell uh, with, with the coaster community. I mean, where do you see this going and what was your reaction to the uh, announcement? Um, I mean, I'm happy now that we have a park that is willing to take a chance on the SNS Axis. We've seen SNS outside of their 40 free spins. To be completely honest, a lot of our coasters, how they've turned out reliability-wise, has not been great. You can look at Steel Curtain, you can look at Gale Force, you can look at Max Force. I don't really think I would call any of those super reliable, so I was kind of concerned with um, when would we see an Axis, so it's great that a European park has taken a chance on this. I'm very happy uh, that they're going to be getting the first one. Uh, as for where I think it could go, Wallaby Holland is a pretty strong contender. They've been getting some really nice additions over the last few years. So if I had to pick a park, that's probably my prediction. But I think a Merlin park could potentially be in the mix. Um, they still seem to be willing to take risks. I know that Garda Land is um, doing their Jumanji ride next year, which... I've heard it's pretty expensive, so perhaps a Merlin Park might take a chance, maybe uh, Alton Towers or another one of their larger properties, but uh, if I had to guess, probably Wallaby Holland, but regardless, I'm excited to see who gets it and what it looks like. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Wallaby Holland seems to be thrown around by quite a few people. In fact, I'd probably go so far as to say it's the most rumored of the parks to be getting the Axis Coaster. I mean... You know, what kind of 
I mean, what kind of theme would you think Wolver Holland would go for if it was them? And you've got to think this is four years since Untamed. So I guess it's probably the, the most likeliest of parks with it being four years since their last coaster. I'm not too familiar with Wolver Holland in terms of, of the themes that they have. So I couldn't give you a, a potential theme that they would go for. Um, I just have heard that there's like a pretty good plot of land. I think it's uh of an attraction that they could remove that like pretty much fits what an access coaster would be is what i've heard is uh why people see that they could be getting it i'm not really sure what exactly it would look like um but if it were going to wallaby hall and i'd expect a access coaster with a traditional lift hill um the only one i could see having a launch would be maybe alton towers because of the tree line but uh we'll have to see what happens mm -hmm.